Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a more natural but still a little bit of glam makeup tutorial. This makeup was actually inspired by this new foundation that I tried and um, I'm living for it. Okay. This is the L'Oreal Infallible. For I'm shaking so bad. It's honestly because I'm drinking coffee. I don't even know if I can finish that. This is the L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. And the word fresh is like just so accurate with this that I was like, I'm going to make a whole fresh makeup look. Just something really, really, really slight. But like we're still fresh. We're still pretty. We're still living. You wouldn't look at me and be like, oh, she has a lot of makeup on. But you'd be like, oh, she's wearing makeup. But it's like super fresh. If you want to see how this works on my skin, if you want to see... Um, the pretty blush and highlight combo, all that good stuff. Just keep watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go this way. Wow, I have no mirror set up. I don't know how I'm going to be able to see myself. First, I'm going to use the new L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. I have mine in the shade sand. Shade sand. They have a really nice like... Um, shade match finder on ulta.com for this foundation so if you're looking for that check that out i really enjoy this foundation i really 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 do i think that like this is exactly what it says fresh looking but super long wearing this could be like a really nice daily foundation especially for people that are trying to do less glam does that make sense like someone who's used to doing a ton of glam all the time and then you know, just like a little bit less. Also really watery. It's like not thick at all, but it stays. So L'Oreal, I don't know how you did it, but you did it and I'm living. I was blown away when I first tried this foundation. I feel like a lot of people on YouTube right now are talking about it and I'm glad because I feel like it deserves every second of recognition because it's really, really, really good. I tried a new setup today. Um, hopefully it looks okay in the background. Okay, for concealer, because I'm not trying to do too much, I'm just gonna use the most natural type of concealer I own, and that is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Everybody compares this to Tarte Shape Tape, and like, I don't agree. Like, I do not agree at all. I think that this one is a lot more natural. I think it's more drying than Tarte Shape Tape, which everybody obviously doesn't agree with me either. I really like this one for really natural days. And I have oh, I have the shade C8 and C10, and they both work really nice. C10 when I'm a little bit more tan, and C8 when I'm just like my normal. I'm going to let that sit on my face. I know it looks a little bit crazy right now, but that's okay. I'm going to cream contour with the same concealer, but in a different shade. I'm using the shade 13.5 in this concealer. I believe it's only available online. And it also has like a really neutral undertone, which is what I was going for. I love a neutral undertone to contour and bronze with. So it, no one can say it's too warm and no one can say it's too cool. You don't look dead, but you don't look orange. Like you just look just right. You definitely don't need to cream contour on like a day-to-day -day basis, but honestly, once you get the hang of cream contouring, it's easy. Like, it's easier than like powder, and it looks more natural than powder a lot of the time, so baby steps, I guess. I'm going to blend out the concealer first, and I'm going to use the same side that I used the foundation on. Concealer and the foundation, they just kind of mesh together really really nicely like the middle of cheerleading season it's a big time it's a busy time also spring semester at Penn State and I really think that if you blend your cream contour well enough it looks so much more natural than powder does I mean I'm still gonna use powder but do you guys see this right here um this hair like I mean obviously you see it this is new growth like, this was not here before. I don't know what to do about it. Should I wax it off? Like, it's not... I don't understand why it's in my hairline. And it throws it off because it's not on the other side. <laughs> It'd be okay if it just grew on the other side, but it's not equal. And it throws off my um, part. If any of you have had that problem, let me know. Because it would make me feel a lot better. I actually wore this foundation 
the other day and my roommate was like oh my god you look good and i was like okay let's make a video with it it has been like below zero in pennsylvania right now and well like recently and it's like 30 degrees today and that's amazing like i woke up and the sun was out incredible what a feeling okay let's do some powder if i'm being honest i think the most natural under eye powder for like almost all skin types is the rcma no color powder my dad thinks this stuff is um topping for pizza <laughs> The only downside to this stuff is it is really, really, really messy. And I think everybody on YouTube already kind of knows that. So we just kind of suck it up and deal. It's super um, airbrush though. And it doesn't look heavy on the skin. Honestly, sometimes I don't mind a heavy powder. Like I think Huda Beauty one is super heavy. Like that's drag queen like powder. Like that's gonna stay on your face. So that's gonna make you look cakey if you use too much of it and sometimes i don't mind that look I'm like fresh type of days just this type of powder it's really good for dry skin it kind of just like sinks into your skin and i don't know it's really nice you also don't have the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder um i'm gonna need you to go get it i know it is like 45 dollars or 48 dollars or something but I've had this one since September and I'm like now just running out. It's just incredible. I don't think anything compares to it. It's so good. Ooh, this is great for touch-ups. This is great for everything. And for like glam looks or just natural looks like this is, we love this. How do we feel about my new nails? I like can't decide. Oh my God, I can't even hold my pinky out because I drank so much coffee. Can't decide if I love them or if I hate them. For bronzer, I'm going to use the one that I always used and I always will. I really don't know if I'm going to ever get over it. And I feel like you guys have to be so sick of me constantly using the same bronzer. But it's so beautiful. Like, why fix it if it's not broken, you know? This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm not going to put a ton of it on just because it's like day-to-day -day wear. Just a little bit. I feel like I can't skip bronzer. Like, it's just one thing that... No matter if I'm light or if I'm heavy, I have to put a little bit on. Just gotta do a little bit. Next, I'm gonna use Warm Soul Mineralized Blush by MAC. I feel like every time I use this blush, my makeup just comes out better. I don't really know what it is about it, but I just, it just looks better. A good amount on my nose too, of course. I feel like this doesn't show up as much as you would think like a, like a normal blush would, but it does the trick. Like it really does. Like, can you see that? Just looks fresh and awake. I think this is like a big key, like in specific this shade to a fresh type of look. For brows, I'm still, I'm still using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I actually just got mine waxed and I feel like they literally don't even need any work right now. Like they don't even need to be filled in. But I'm going to do it anyways. Honestly, what did you expect? I think that microblading is so the way to go with brows. Like, if you haven't gone on that train yet, do it. Next, I'm going to do a little tiny bit of eyeshadow. Like, nothing crazy. I'm going to use the Morocco shade. and then the, I think it's called Fudge, the one right below it. These are from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture World Traveler Palette. I don't think that these, um, this palette is available anymore, but I do think the individual shades are. I am a huge, huge fan of Anastasia uh, eyeshadows. I think they're really good. I also, like from the, from the drugstore, I totally like Morphe and um, Wet n Wild too, but I think my favorite high-end eyeshadow is most definitely Anastasia Beverly Hills. I feel like I really like their brand in general. Like, I like their packaging. I like the way they present themselves. I like Nor Norvina. I think that's how you pronounce her name. And I also haven't really tried a product from them that I haven't enjoyed. So that's the skin, the eyes. Just something really slight. Like, this is nothing crazy. I'm going to also use the Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine, Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Setting Spray. I love this stuff. I love, 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 love this stuff. I just got the iPhone XS Max. Just a lot of words to, and numbers and like things to remember when you say that. 
The actual camera itself is amazing, obviously, but the Snapchat and Instagram camera, like, did they purposely make it horrible? I don't understand. And then I'm gonna use my second setting spray of the day. You know, you know how this goes. This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. They have a matte version of this now, so if you're oily, um, there you go. Lastly, we're just gonna put a little bit of gloss on here. This is the Essence Shine, Shine, Shine Wet Look Lip Gloss. I don't know. It's really sticky, but I'm into that. And it's also like $3.99 or $2.99 at Ulta, and I love this stuff. It's just a clear gloss, so... Oh, wow. I didn't put on highlighter today. Okay, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. This one is like not like straight up gold and that's why I like it for natural days. But it's still kind of blinding so be, um, be warned. I feel like every time I wear this someone says, oh, you are hot. You are glowing. Thank you. Thank you next. And that is all for a little natural-esque makeup look. I really think that like the most important part of this is that foundation. I really, really, really like that foundation. And if you are in the market for a new fresh type of foundation, go for this one. I love this stuff. Oh, I almost just threw it. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and leave a comment below if you support me because it helps um, a lot. See you in the next one.